Meet Shaka, Janu and Sutton. They may be a world away from their natural habitat on the African savanna, but that doesn't mean they're not loving life here in North Somerset. Noah's Ark Zoo Farm celebrated 10 years since they welcomed African bull elephants to their 20-acre enclosure, which features everything an elephant could wish for, from expansive fields to a willow plantation and sand yard. We've kind of made so much progress in this 10 years. It's a, it's a um, developing programme, it's been really pioneering, but lots of people don't know about it and it's something we want to celebrate, uh, not, not just for Noah's Ark, but for the whole region. It's something we in the West Country can be really proud of. It's, we've got a world leading facility and it's a fantastic thing to, to see. We've had two million visitors come and enjoy experiencing these elephants um, and we'd love more people to come and have that incredible experience or inspiring thing of coming face to face with an African elephant. Just how important is it for you and the staff here at Noah's Ark to be able to do this project? Yeah, it's a huge privilege. I mean, these are amazing creatures. Um, they are four tons plus. Um, they're so graceful. They're just incredible creatures. Um, and so we feel really privileged and a sense of responsibility to provide excellent care for them. And, um, we're celebrating the fact that we, we have a really world-class programme here. We're providing great care for them. and uh, We're contributing to wider conservation efforts by doing that. The zoo, which is called the Sanctuary Elephant Eden, provides much needed support for the European Endangered Species Programme, offering an extensive environment for individual males to live and integrate into a multi-generational group where they can learn from each other and exhibit natural behaviours. The European Breeding Programme is uh, run by a collection of zoos in, in, in the whole of Europe, um, everyone that keeps African elephants in the zoos in Europe as part of the programme and it's about maintaining a really healthy um, population of African elephants in captivity. Um, so our role in that is that we are playing quite a unique role in, in housing only bull elephants and you think might think well being in a breeding programme and you haven't got any females here how does that work but as part of the um, social life of an elephant where the bulls are born and they spend time with their maternal herds and they grow and learn for a certain amount of time with their parents, with their mother, um, but then there's the, they become too big to stay with their mother um, and then they need to move off on their own, but they're not actually big enough to become a breeding bull. So there's that middle ground where the bull elephants go off on their own, team up with other bull elephants and grow and learn and they're still developing their social skills, they're still developing the behaviours that they need to um, to fine tune, to be able to be good breeding bulls, to know all the social cues from other elephants. So they form these groups together and that's what we're providing here at Noah's Ark. So the young ones come in, they learn all these, how to be an elephant, how to be a bull elephant with other bulls, and then they're ready to go off and have their own breeding herd. So there's that middle ground um, that we're providing here at Noah's Ark for the whole community. Noah's Ark uh, Zoo Farm has a real pioneering uh, facility here for African elephants. This is really world-leading stuff. Over the last 10 years we've seen evidence showing uh, more and more improvements for the way we care for elephants and that has led to more and more ways that we can actually conserve elephants. The fact is that all three wild elephant species are endangered. Uh, we're at risk of losing them forever and I for one don't want to see a world where we lose elephants. Uh, we could do some amazing research in zoos such as Noah's Ark that is simply impossible to do in the wild. But just what work goes into looking after three huge African elephants? So it takes a lot of work to look after an African elephant. There's uh, a lot of food to prep, there's a lot of um, poo to clean up. We spend um, around nine hours every single day food prepping, cleaning, looking after the elephants, uh, some husbandry care. Yeah, so basically there's a lot to do with the elephants, so our day's kind of split into three bits. Um, so in the morning we do come outside, do all the husbandry out here, and uh, make sure we're refilling all the boys' food and um, refreshing everything outside. Once we've done that, they come straight out and then we start on the inside, which is probably the longest part of our day. Um, sometimes it can take up to about two and a half hours just to clean um, the poo inside. The boys do make quite a bit of a mess. Um, once we've done that, refreshed all the food again. They eat for around 18 to 20 hours a day, so one of our biggest parts of our job is refreshing the food and making sure they've got a big diet and a lot of variety once they come inside um, and we've done that and then we can come back out again um, and <laughs> clean up again there is a lot to do um, even just with three elephants they're just so large and they create a lot of mess. It's quite a unique job here in the southwest looking after elephants just how do you find it? 
I absolutely love it. I think it's the most amazing job. Um, it is a hard work. I'm sure Connor will say the exact same as well. Um, but it's absolute pleasure um, working with three African elephants, the largest land mammal um, that there is. Um, like I said, a lot of hard work, but I absolutely love it. It's they're just amazing coming in every day and seeing their different personalities and all that little quirk as well. Yeah, so all three elephants have different personalities, different uh, kind of likes and dislikes. Looking after them every single day has been a dream. It is a dream. Um, it's our passion. So every day is always a pleasure to come inside to work, and it's very physical, but it's very worth it in the end. Noah's Ark Zoo Farm became a conservation charity in 2023, and has ambitious plans to develop its impact both locally and internationally through partnerships and conservation efforts. Lewis Clark. Somerset Live, North Somerset.